I developed a, a little formula that I used in a uh, graduation. Uh, anytime you're in a leadership position, R squared plus R equals L, is the R squared meant a two-way street, both for responsibility and respect. And you have to respect those around you, and you have to be responsible to them. Uh, and if you can come up with an approach that puts risk in the proper perspective and puts it at the right level, uh, you have effective leaders. The key thing that uh, I said Rockers taught me, it taught me how to learn. It provided you with the ethical values to start with uh, that are very important in any kind of leadership role. Uh, it also taught you how to listen to people. And the last thing I think it taught me is how to respect people. Very early on, uh, it was a lot of micromanaging because we were learning from scratch. Uh, but what does a, a, a college experience like Rockhurst uh, bring? Part of it, I think, is self-evaluation, really understanding what you can and can't do, and being comfortable uh, relying on others. It is a cooperative effort and uh, usually a team of some level that uh, leads to success. I always realize that the key to any success of a company is the people that are part of that company. And as far as a leader is concerned, making sure that you get those people to work together and to respect each other and to really focus on what we are trying to do as a company. The culture they created, um, they ended up touching thousands of people. They really encouraged and created a, a, a large group of people, thousands of us, that are out there today that I think are still having impacts on the DST community or the the Kansas City community in, in general. Each one of them, as an individual, would have led a successful company. The combination of the two of them, because of their complementary skills, created a really potent and much larger organization that had a longer-term impact on the community. One of the keys was Tom was a visionary. Every morning, Tom was there, he'd probably come to my office with another idea, and uh, you have to make sure that you're able to follow through. And, but, I mean, he was. He was the key to where the company was going. Probably, if you, you looked at kind of how we split up our time, I may have got more stuff started, and he made more stuff work. Um, and sometimes uh, he was uh, clever enough to fix the stuff I got started uh, and ensure that it did work and support the growth of the company. And it was a very good team, both from skill sets, from focus, attention, uh, but you know, great personal relationships also. I would pick two words in terms of their involvement with Rockhurst that extended to their involvement in other things too and that's generosity and commitment. And when I say generous, certainly financially, but also with time, which in many ways is harder. Tom uh, was a fantastic mentor. Uh, he had incredible leadership skills in terms of teaching you how to listen, teaching you how to focus on your associates, uh, teaching you on how to work through others. I realized I could be a lot more effective with the associates that I had responsibility for if I was possessing many of the qualities that Tom McCullough was exhibiting to me. Like many other uh, friends and associates of the Toms, they've had a significant effect on my uh, career and my life. Tom and Tom have been mentors, advisors, confidants, and most of all, true friends. Rockhurst is about learning leadership and service. We tell our students, you know, we want you to learn so that you can become leaders, so that you can serve others. And I think that you've got a classic two examples of that um, at the A-plus level 
in both McCullough and McDonald. I know from seven and four-year-old grandsons that superheroes are a big deal. Movies, costumes, uh, and I've decided that heroes are not just for kids. And I would say outside of my family that Tom McDonald and Tom McCullough are my heroes.